What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJTV. We're starting off today's video with a purple monster. We're changing it up as a recommendation from a subscriber. You know exactly who you are. I want to see you in the comments. If you've been following me on Instagram, you'll know that today's video is going to be a Q&A, purely because the graduation video is going to take me some time. I want it to be a good video. I want to remember it when, you know, five, 10, 20 years time. I want to be able to look back at it and go, yeah, I did, I did a good job with that video. So, with that being said, we're on our way back to Melton from university now because we have graduated. We are officially no longer a student, which is very, very unfortunate. But today's video is going to be a good one. I'm answering your questions. Let's get it started. Alright. Hi doggies! Hey, you got any you got any questions for me? You got any questions for me? No? No? I I I just wanna go out. Okay. Go on the doggies, go find a toy. Where's your toys? Give them here. That's it. Here. Drop. Drop it. I mean what I mean flick. Sit. 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 What is that really? Eh? You daft dog. So the questions you guys will see in today's video. Uh, I've come from my Instagram. So, if I do not answer your question, there's a lot of them. So, apologies if I don't get to them. Uh, but, if you are not already, follow the link in the description box. LSJ underscore fitness is my Instagram. Uh, so, you'll be missing out on, you know, daily updates, daily photos, stories, up-to-date things, rather than a video twice a week. So, if you're not already on there, then get on it. But, with that said, let's answer question one. What is your favourite type of cheese? Um, all of them. And on pizza, which I'm about to order right now. Don't worry, zero calorie. Uh, hiya, can I order a couple of pizzas to be collected, please? And can I just get two large margaritas, please? And, uh, and that's it. Perfect, I'll see you then. Nice one, cheers, bye. Special treatment from the pizza place because <laughs> no, we're, we're kind of regulars there. <laughs> Okay, so pizza is ordered. I'm actually on the way to pick it up now as well. But uh, you cannot have pizza without ketchup. You just can't. We have none in the house. So I'll go pick some up. Be right back. Oh, oh, oh yes! Don't worry, guys. Mm. It's zero calorie. <laughs> Straight off to find the toys. You don't change, do you, doggies? Okay, so it is the following day, and no. I have not got changed. What I'm gonna do now is figure out what I can have for lunch. My eyes are going towards the tuna. We went for half a tin of beans, um, a tin of tuna, and 75 grams of pasta, which seems to be around about the right amount for me with this amount of pasta, with this pasta, because it's not as good as the, as the one that I like. But you guys keep asking me questions, right? So I'm gonna turn this question around on you. 
You guys keep wondering what my macros are, what I eat, and all that kind of stuff now I've graduated. So my question to you is, would you guys like to see a full day of eating or something like that where I do actually explain it all? Um, what I'm eating through that day, what my macros are, etc, etc. Let me know in the comments, but for now I'm going to eat this and answer the next question. So the next question is from my buddy Amanda. When are you going to start travelling? And the quick and simple answer to that, Amanda, is when I have enough money. Simple as. She's also asked what would be the perfect job now that I've graduated and <laughs> to be honest I don't think there is any perfect job. I think as long as I'm happy then I'm good. As long, I mean I'd love to make videos for a living but as long as it has something to do with fitness and the exercise and health and you know I can work with other people and stuff like that, I'm, I'm sound really. Stay hydrated, people. Okay, next question. Full body workouts better than push-pull legs? Okay, good question. Right, it depends on who you are, what you want to do, and just how your body reacts to so many different things. I hate it when people say, this is the plan, like, and this is what everybody should do, and this is the only thing that's going to work for you, and it's just not. It's Everybody's different, everybody's going to react to completely different training styles, everybody's going to grow quicker, grow slower, everybody's going to be willing to put more time, willing to put less time into the gym, and so there is no perfect routine. For me right now, as a bodybuilder, I can get in as much volume using the push-pull legs routine that I'm willing to put into the gym. I could, you know, if I was a professional bodybuilder, I'd be training twice a day and all that kind of stuff, and so their routine would not be the same for me. But my routine would not be the same as, say, my dad's who does two, three times a week, something like that, and he does a full body routine. So do I think it could be better? Yes, absolutely. There's people like, have you ever watched Student Aesthetics, Marine? He follows a full body routine, like Rob Lipsit follows a full body routine when he's traveling, all that kind of stuff. It has its purpose, but it's not right for me personally. So it's an amazing routine, and do it if it suits you best. But right now, for me, push ball legs is the best. How did you meet your girlfriend? Uh, we met at university, we lived together in first year, and then it kind of just went from there, really. What's your opinion on energy drinks? Do you think they're ultimately bad or good for you? Well, you've just seen me put one in the bin. That was the same one as yesterday, by the way. I didn't have to, but... Anyway, right, my opinion on energy drinks. I think there's a lot of kind of negative stigma around them, and I don't really know why, because it's just a little bit of caffeine, especially when you don't drink tea, when you don't drink coffee. If I've had a monster, I won't have pre-workout and then vice versa, all that kind of stuff. So I am sensible with what I do. I just show you guys every single time I have one. But in terms of are they actually good or bad for you, um, I know Muscle Food, I'm sure you guys have all heard of Muscle Food, actually did kind of like a picture, poster, sales thing. They started selling Monster. And so take a look at this and it kind of explains you know, my opinion on it and why it isn't necessarily a detriment to you and how you can use them as a benefit. Continuing with the monster theme, would you rather eat your own dog's poo or never have a monster energy drink again? I mean, to never have a monster ever again... I suppose there's alternatives, but... to never have a monster drink again is forever. But the taste of the dog poo would only be temporary. You? Just that, just that was enough for her to run and get to- look, look! It really never ends. Right, so I think it's time we answered the key question, the title of today's video. And that is, how do you stay so positive all the time? <laughs> and it's a very good question, but the truth is I don't. And anyone who you see on the internet, anyone you see in real life who wakes up every single day, every single day, 
and says they're super positive, they're the most happiest, they're the most realist, they're, they're this and that, every single day is just lying to you. There's this whole hype around social media and the fitness industry in particular that you have to have hashtag life goals and you have to have the realist channel and you have to, you know, just be super positive all the time and it's, it can get to the point where it's just a bit fake and people can see right through it. So I'm a positive a lot of the time, absolutely. But I'm a positive all the time, absolutely not. There's things that happen, you know, there's drawbacks, there's setbacks, there's just shit things that happen. Like life can be shit, that's, that's just life, that's just how it is. But what I like to think that I do is share them. Share the good things, share the bad things, and we learn how to deal with all of them together. But to kind of answer the question, I mean, I'm positive a lot of the time because I don't see the point in being negative. It achieves nothing. I am a big, big believer that being positive and surrounding yourself with positive people is the key to being successful. If I'm feeling like crap, then I can use that network that I've built around me to, you know, lift me up. And if that network is one of those people not feeling so great, then I can use my positivity to bring them up. You know, it works both ways. It's, it's, a, it's a two way street. And that way everybody wins. But I think above all the factor that kind of rings through to me is that I'm very, very lucky. Very lucky. You know, to be in the position that I'm in, I've just been to university, I've graduated. Not everybody gets to do that. I have very supportive friends, very supportive family. You know, I'm a lucky guy. And so, from that perspective, I find it very hard to be negative because there is no real reason to be negative. And then, like I say, on those days where that is the case, I can use those people that I've just mentioned and vice versa. I mean, it, it, I don't really, I probably should have thought about my answer a little bit more before I actually did it. But I mean, like, look, just, just look here, right? Look at this. I mean, as someone who loves the gym and loves making videos and everything like that, being in a place like this is almost impossible to be negative, man. I mean, come on. Like right now is, wow, just wow. I mean, I've not been here for a couple of days and this is the first time I step in here since graduation. And so I kind of, I smell the air, you know, this place is just filled with good vibes and it's, I don't know. <laughs> Very appreciative of absolutely everything. And, and that's another key thing as well, because if you start letting things go to your head, you can just become a to, to, be, to be honest with you. So, anyway, that is gonna round off today's Q&A and round off today's video, guys. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do me a massive favor and drop a like and a comment down below if you have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the graduation video. I want to put my time and effort into that and make it a very good video for years to come so that not only you guys, but I can look back and remember it because that's one of the reasons why I started this channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. If you did enjoy the video, thank you guys so much for your endless support. It really does mean the world to me. Together we will grow. I will see you guys in the next video.